Hello everyone, my name is Hilary Chin. Thank you for coming and watching our YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how to do validation criteria in Kobo Toolbox and also how to create mandatory questions, okay? For instance, if I come here and ask names, I already asked the first question names. Now, if I go secondly here, second question and I ask the age. Let's say I want to know the age of my respondent and I click OK. Of course, numbers are going to be required. Now, I want their age. Now, many times when we do projects, we are always working in, um, we are always um, targeting um, respondents based on age. We are always looking at a particular age. We don't just um, do projects haphazardly. We always say, okay, we are looking at those from 25 to 26, those for, from 26 upward, those from 18 upward. And if this is the case, let's just go in and create a validation criteria. It's just simply setting a particular criteria, what you want to see respondents put in your Kobo toolbox. It also helps for data cleaning while they're inputting their information. If I go to setting here on the question, just go on the question age, go to setting here, and then you choose data uh, validation criteria here, and then you choose add condition. Now, if I come here and I say, okay, let's say we want to um we want to set a particular age let's say we want to first of all target those who are just equals to 25 years we just want respondents who are 25 years okay and then we want to always if a respondent puts some something that is above or below 25 years we want we want a particular message okay to appear to them and politely tell them to put the right information we just write please put the correct number you see yes so now this is what we have chosen okay as a criteria so we'll now go down here and of that and then we save and then we preview our form okay we come up here and then we preview our form so we are going to see how this looks um but now we are pre previewing our form so if i come to each year and then i put 25 years you see it takes it okay but if i put 26 years it denies it you see please put the correct this is the remember this is our query statement that we made okay if i come here and i put 21 it's below so because we had to emphasize that we want just 25 years old you see so it takes it now if i go back again and still on age and then i choose um validation criteria again and i say okay i want this age to be um it should be less than sorry less than 18 no sorry greater than 18 it should be greater than 18 okay it means if i put anything below 18 it's not gonna work and then i add another condition here again it should be greater than 18 and less than maybe 70 years okay we want to ensure that it's between those ages and then we still keep our statement please put the correct number here we still keep the statement and then we save it here and then we, we now preview it okay now if we put anything less than 18 it's not going to take it and we put anything above 18 it's going to take it for instance if i come here and i put 17 you see it's going to deny it you see if I come here and I put 18, it's still going to deny it because we said above 18. You see, it's still going to deny it. But when we put from 19, you see, it takes it. That's it. That's it. So this is how you set validation criteria. It helps you to collect the right information from respondents. Okay? And it helps you to also clean your data, as I, as I said earlier. If we come now and we want to do... Um, now we want to do um, a mandatory response. It's simple. Just come up here. I already have two questions here names and age okay if i come here to name and i want to make it mandatory all i need to do is just come to this setting and i come here and i say response mandatory response and i say yes that's all just click yes okay and i click okay and i come to the next question as well and i click mandatory okay now mandatory here now it's many times when we set questions there are particular questions that you want your respondent to answer they are very key to you you really want to measure it you want to analyze it so you're going to put mandatory it means if they don't if they don't answer that question they are unable to go to the next one so let's review this form and you see if i come here and i click review if i click review this form okay 
you see that if I go to the first question and I don't answer it, I cannot come to the second. Remember when we were looking at data validation, I could answer this question without coming here. So if I come here and I want to skip and come here and write age, you see, I cannot write anything. You see, I cannot write. I'm trying to write, it cannot go because I made the first one mandatory. So if I click write my name, Hillary, and then now I come here, you see, now I can write something here. Okay? Remember, it was above 18. You see? Now, Hillary and 19 years old. So, if I come here and I don't write anything, you see? You see? You see, it says this field is required. So, this is the power of mandatory questions. And also, this is the power of, um, um, of data um, cri um, validation criteria. So, please do well to learn these skills in Kobo and begin to analyze data as we move ahead. Thank you very much and stay blessed.